morning everybody I've got old blue ready to go all warmed up it's Monday it's time to go grab our freight finally Time has finally come. We've been sitting here in uh, Lower Mainland BC since, well, it was actually since Thursday afternoon already. We've been having some trouble getting out of this area with freight that's worthwhile. So we've got something, we gotta go pick it up this morning. It's about uh, 30 to 45 minutes away, depending how traffic is over in Burnaby, BC. I'm in Langley right now. We're gonna go grab that freight, put it on the trailer, tie it down and book it to Edmonton, try to get there for tomorrow morning. So let's get moving, I've been sitting for a while. Okay, here's to hoping that nothing goes wrong and that everything goes smoothly, I can get the freight and get out of here and there's no issues with it. Look, even my brakes are like, wow, we've been here a while, I'm tired. You hear that? <laughs> Gonna be a good day. Keep telling ourselves that, right? It's gonna be a good day. You know, when you're on the road, weekends aren't a very good thing. Sometimes it gets kind of annoying that hey, everyone went home and now I gotta wait for them to come back to work. I'm still at work. Hopefully traffic isn't that bad yet. I have a feeling I'm gonna be catching the beginning of uh, the worst of it. See what I mean? This road was clear a second ago. Now it's the Truman Show. You know, oh, Josh is getting on the road, everybody quick. Oh, wait, nope, here's my gap. Here's my gap, we'll go, go, go. Ah, oh, it wasn't so bad, that wasn't so bad. I always joke about it being the Truman Show because every time I want to go somewhere, suddenly there's like this massive long parade. Okay. In 800 meters, turn right on. 88 at least. It's going to be a good day. We're going to keep saying that. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a really good day. If this load doesn't fall through or anything, if everything goes according to plan, Nothing's for sure until it's on my trailer. It's gonna be a pretty scenic drive out of the mountains up to Edmonton. Looking forward to that.
and that's the load. It's called a, a mud box. It's 30 feet long, 8 feet wide, 6 feet high. Taking that to Edmonton. Let's go. We've been waiting long enough. So on Friday when I came here to pick this up and it wasn't ready, or it was the wrong freight, uh, I went down, uh, what, what was that road called? Front Drive along the river and there's a terrible congestion. You guys remember that? You can go back and watch last fr Friday's video. I found a different route to get into Burnaby. This is down Boundary Road here. Comes straight from the Can uh, Trans-Canada, straight south. So now I'm facing north going back. Way better, way better road. And if I'd be a local from around here, I would have known that last time. I mean, it's still not ideal, but still, it's like a straight shot, rather than Between winding your way through Burnaby. On. Grab you highway. So when you come to these big Canadian cities, if you're an American and you're driving truck up here, don't always trust your GPS. You gotta do your research too. It, it's, and don't trust Google, never trust Google. So I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Look at the map, Google maybe uh, truck routes, BC. It'll give you a map of the truck routes around Southern BC here. And that's probably the best way for you to get in. Because your GPS is gonna lead you through some of the craziest truck routes you can think of. In 800 meters, take exit 165, Flood Hope Road, Hope Business Route, Floods Road to Man, turn left 370 meters. We're coming up to the Flying J here in Hope. Hopefully there's no wait for a shower. I can either exit here or I can exit at the next one. I'm going to go here. Doesn't really matter either way. In 300 meters, turn left on Floods Road and then keep to the right in 190 meters. So we came from Burnaby, which is pretty much by the coast, the west side of the lower mainland. Now this is Hope. This is sort of the entryway to the big mountains. As you can plainly see right in front of me. Pretty light load. This bin behind me is about 11,000 pounds. So it's just enough to keep us firmly planted on the ground, but it's enough to. Uh, meters, keep to the right on Flood Hope Road. It's light, light enough that uh, we should be able to rocket past everybody on the mountain hills, which is nice because then when you get stuck behind somebody who likes to slow down and speed up and slow down and speed up, as soon as you hit a hill, you can get past them. Because they, they can't make it up the hill because they're probably heavy. Approaching destination in 400 meters on the left side. I'm pretty sure it's on the right side. Oh, 
cones in front of this one. Throw some juice in here, we'll go find a parking spot and then run in for a shower. Just sad to be leaving British Columbia, but at the same time, kind of glad. <laughs> we'll have mountains all day today yet. I don't know how far we're gonna get. I don't have quite enough time to get to Edmonton today yet, but we'll get pretty close. I was hoping to get to uh, Atchison and stay at the Husky or Petro Pass there. Don't know if we're gonna make it that far, but you know, we'll see what happens. We'll get as far as we can get up tomorrow morning we'll go the rest of the way get this thing off my trailer in Edmonton then we're gonna find some freight that's gonna get me home so home's not getting any closer just sitting here
going through town, head up Highway 5. This is where our route uh, diverts from our way in. So on the way here, we came from Calgary. So we came through Trans-Canada 1, all the way up to Kamloops, and then down to BC from here. Now, on the other side of town, we're going to take a hard left and go north up to 5, because we're going towards Edmonton. how they built these cities right onto the side of the mountain. Just right up the side of the mountain. They made it work. Twisty, windy road to get in here. Quick little stop here, little breather. Get out of the truck. You see, I've got four chains on this load, which are doing all the work. The straps are more just for show to make people on the road feel more comfortable around me. They're not doing anything. The chains are doing everything. They're doing a little bit. It's stopping, stopping the load from vibrating in the middle. So I do still put them on there, but you got the chain up here, holding it back. You got the chain up here, holding it forward. Did the same thing on the back there. Had to put this protection between here so that my strap didn't rub on that. And that's the same thing on the back. That ain't going nowhere. Just a beautiful area. I don't even know where I am. Just. See how the road just winds around the corner there? We got this river right beside us here. Quite a bit of truck traffic. And this is the road that you take from Edmonton down to Vancouver. Five. I love these mountain streams. Such clean water. You could probably drink right out of it. I'm not going to, but I'd love to go jump in. It's probably ice cold though. <laughs> so maybe we'll pass on that. Yeah. yeah, I just had to stop in here and just take this all in. Just look at this with me.
Like it doesn't get any better than this. So the fun's over. It's time to get back on the road. Looks like I've got company behind me anyways. I'll give the rest area to them. that last clip twice because there was a smudge on the lens <laughs> had to redo it all continue on this road for 49 kilometers absolutely don't gotta tell me twice let's go see what else there is to see Alberta. I'm gonna go 
park underneath that last Continue on light. this road for 40 kilometers. No, 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 we're done for the day, Karen. We will park underneath this light up here. All the way up here at the end. quarter to 11 at night we're at that time of year now where this northern sky this is north in front of us that's not going to get completely dark tonight the light is just going to move from the west over there to the east over there and then the sun's going to come back up over there and then go right over top of us set back down there again. That's one of the coolest things, I think, about living in uh, the Northern Hemisphere, way up here in Canada, is the, the, the change of daylight hours. I say this all the time. I know you're probably tired of me talking about it, but it's like the most fascinating thing ever. This is, this is why this is my favorite time of year, right? It's just, because in, in wintertime, the sun just pops over the south horizon there. But in summertime, it rises in the northeast, goes up over us, and then sets in the northwest. And then that twilight, like that lit up piece of sky right there, it just moves from there to there, and then the sun comes back up. It never gets completely dark. And we're still in Alberta here now, so we're at about the latitude of Edmonton. There's still a lot of country, like a lot of Canada north of here yet, plus Alaska is up there too. And uh, obviously the sun doesn't set there. I don't know, I just... It's, it's always going to fascinate me. I'm always going to be... I don't know. It's one of the things that I think is pretty cool. But here's the truck. This is going to be our resting place for tonight. Right there underneath the light. It was a fun trip to BC. I don't get to go there very often, so I used to go there all the time. There's the freight. That was supposed to be on my trailer on Friday, but trucking happened. And here we are now. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'm gonna go to bed. And in the morning, two and a half hours that way, we'll be in Edmonton. So take care, stay safe, drive safe out there, use your turn signals, keep your eyes on the road, keep your stick on the ice, and don't forget to subscribe to Trucker Josh Vlogs right here on YouTube, down below. Leave me a comment and a thumbs up if you want to support the channel. That's all free to do. If you want to take it one step further for uh, the price of like a Starbucks coffee every month, you can get early access to all my videos up to a week early sometimes. If you're interested in that, you can click the join now button below my video and read more about that there if you're interested. If not, I look forward to seeing your comments down below in the comment section either way. I'll see you tomorrow from right here.